Quest'anno ho scelto come tema per la giornata mondiale del migrante rifugiato un noi sempre più grande. È un invito rivolto a tutti perché ci impegniamo a restaurare la nostra famiglia umana. Siamo come tanti granelli di savia, tutti diversi e unici, ma che insieme possono formare una spiaggia bellissima, una vera opera d'arte. I'm Bishop Mark Seitz and I'm the Bishop of El Paso on the US-Mexico border. I grew up in a family of 10 children. We didn't have much, but I remember that whenever an extra mouth showed up at dinner time, we would just slide over and my mother always made sure there was enough food for everyone. Siamo tutti sulla stessa barca e siamo chiamati ad impegnarci affinché non ci siano più muri che ci separano, affinché non ci siano più gli altri, ma solo un noi, un noi grande come l'intera umanità. God always gives us what we need to welcome another person. It's not about us and them, I found the most rewarding opportunities of my life serving here at the border. I've learned that borders can be vibrant places of encounter and welcome, encounters that enrich us. I've learned that we are all interconnected as one human family. We stand or fall together. We build walls and fences which divide us. Today, people of faith need to be bridge builders. The Holy Spirit breaks down everything that separates us, walls of poverty, indifference, and exclusion. Here at the border and in every place of encounter with those on the margins, God is calling us to be a bridge people. God is weaving a beautiful new future at a time when many were being deported across the border on one occasion. I felt called to cross the border to meet with families being expelled on the other side. I met an immigrant family fleeing assassination threats and death, and then I accompanied them back to the international border to stand and witness while they sought asylum again. And when we got to the border and approached the guards, the nine-year-old young child in the family, Maria, took my hand. She was so vulnerable. I was fearful too. I discovered something about myself. I realized our destinies, hers and mine, were somehow linked. It was no longer about us and them. I felt the presence of God calling us to build a world where everyone has a place, a chance to flourish, to live with dignity. God calling us to build a world with a we as wide as humanity. <laughs>